Good morning. Welcome to the Lackawanna Library Toddler Time. We are going to be reading a story today about winter, and it's all about winter. And I am Miss Patty. And I'm Miss Lisa. We're glad you're back with us. We're going to begin with our two good morning songs. Our first one, get ready with sign language. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I hope you have a good day. Good. Get ready with the train song. Ready? The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Betty. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Skylar. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Parker, and, and we'll all say hello to Phelan, and, and we'll all say hello to Emery, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Anna, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Jessica, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Theo, and we'll all say hello to Andrew, and we'll all say hello to Lewis, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Luca, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Leaf. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Max. And we'll all say hello to Colton. And we'll all say hello to Marin. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Henry. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to John. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Brayden, and we'll all say hello to Olivia, and we'll all say hello to Aiden, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Kelly, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Connor, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll all say hello to Caroline, and we'll all say hello to Elsie, and we'll all say hello to everyone, how are you? Choo, choo. Great. If you'd like to have your name added to our good morning song, you can have mom or dad just message us and we will say your name in the next time that we do our song. Okay, we are talking about winter, as I said, and when we go outside in the winter, we have to dress very, very warm. So we might have to wear special things for our outside clothing, and that is what you will see us put some of those special clothes on right now as we sing this song. And you can join us. It goes like this. It is snowing, it is snowing on my head, on my head. I need a hat, I need a hat on my head, on my head. It is snowing, it is snowing on my hands, on my hands, I need some gloves, I need some gloves on my hands, on my hands. It is snowing, it is snowing on my neck, on my neck. I need a scarf, I need a scarf on my neck, on my neck. It is snowing, it is snowing on my shoulders, on my shoulders, I need a jacket, I need a jacket, on my shoulders, on my shoulders. All right. And now. you can sing this song and make up your other things that you might need, like boots and snow pants and things like that, so you can make up your own song. All right. Okay. Now we have a fun game that we are going to do. Yes with mittens, and you see different colored mittens on the board. And Miss Lisa mm -hmm. will begin this. Okay, we have some mittens here, and we have a little snowball. And we're gonna play a little game where I'm gonna hide the snowball behind one of these mittens. And then we'll give you a, a chance to guess which mitten it is behind. We have a little poem that goes with it. And 
we will do that poem. Okay, Miss Patty's going to cover them up. And I'm going to put the snowball under a mitten here. Okay. Snowball, snowball, cold, cold and round, round, behind which mitten can you be found? Are you behind the orange mitten? Let's see. No. Are you behind the red mitten? Let's see. No. Try blue the blue mitten. mitten. <gasps> there it is. Okay, Very if you guess blue, you're right. All right, we'll cover that up again. And I will hide the little snowball behind the mitten. Okay. And let's see here. Oh, where should I choose? I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Ready. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Are you behind the yellow mitten? Oh, let's see, Miss Patty. No. no. Hmm. Are you behind the red mitten? Hmm. Oh, there, oh, it, there is. it is, hiding behind yeah. the red mitten. Very good. Okay. We'll do it one, one more, more time. time. All right, hide the mittens. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I wonder which one. Okay. Okay. Snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? Are you behind the? Hmm. Let's see. How about the orange one? Oh no. No. About the yellow one? Let's see. No. no. Hmm. Are you behind the uh, pink oh, one? The pink one. Let's see. <gasps> there there it, is. it is. Yep, right behind the pink mitten. Yeah. Good job. Very good. You can play this little game yourself. You can make up some mittens and a little snowball and play the game with somebody in your family. Good idea. Now we have a story for you. Mm -hmm. For our story, we're going to mm -hmm. count the mittens. Oh, yes, let's count okay. the mittens first. So we're going to start with English first. Mm -hmm. We'll count them. One, One two, two, three, four, four five. five. Now we'll try in French. And you can say it with us or you can repeat the word after us. Un, Un deux, deux, trois, quatre, quatre cinq. cinq. Let's try it in Spanish now. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And now we're adding on Arabic, and it's um, it goes like this. Wahed, ithnein, dalada, arba'a, kams. Very good. Okay, now we're going to have Miss Patty mm -hmm. read us a story about, about winter, winter time. And let me find the book. It is about a little bear whose name was Chaucer. And this is Chaucer's first winter. And you will um, see in this book that he wants to stay out in the winter. And this, we were given permission by Simon and Schuster to read this book. Chaucer's first winter. Chaucer's first winter. Chaucer was a curious young bear. He poked and prodded wherever he pleased, under rocks, under water, even high in the trees. Chaucer's best friend were Nugget and Kit. They were a little older than he was. This winter, said Nugget, we're going to miss you a lot. Really, asked Chaucer. Where will I be while you're missing me? Sleeping, said Kit. That's just what bears do. They hibernate or sleep all winter in their caves. Chaucer's parents admitted that this news was true. Bears do like to snooze, his father observed. It's very restful, the mother added. 
which is good for growing bears. Chaucer was not convinced. Pretty soon, it was time for Bear's winter nap. Chaucer's parents closed their eyes and began softly snoring. Chaucer was still wide awake. So he stood up, he stretched, and then he went back outside. White flakes were tumbling through the air. Chaucer caught one on his nose and two on his tongue. They were wet to the touch and then melted away. It's magic, he said. Hi, friends. Were, his friends were very surprised to see him. Why aren't you sleeping? asked Nugget. I was curious, said Chaucer. I wanted to see what winter was all about. Kit nodded. Well, first we must teach you what to know about snow. Chaucer was ready. Chaucer saw that snow made everything look different. It's like the land is wearing a disguise, he thought. He paused uncertainly at the top of one familiar hill. How do we get to the bottom, he asked. You'll see, said Kit. And they had themselves a wild ride. Looks like they're sledding down the hill. Over the next few days, Chaucer learned all about snowball fights. After a month, the pond froze over. Careful, said Nugget as they stepped out. Kit nodded. You have to get used to it, like ice skating. Chaucer's paw felt funny on the ice. He was much better at sliding than gliding. Chaucer loved everything about winter. The glittering rows of icicles, the pine trees dressed in white. He even enjoyed the colder winter nights. One gray morning, Chaucer, Nugget, and Kit were out exploring. It started to snow and it started to blow. Chaucer sniffed the air deeply and began to make giant snowballs. This is not a good time to play, said Kit. But Chaucer knew what he was doing. He built them a safe place to watch the storm pass. And he built like a little cave or a little igloo for them while the blizzard was blowing by. The storms grew gentler. After that, the sun got stronger and the days seemed longer. There's a chance spring is coming, said Nugget. Kit took a deep breath. I can almost smell the flowers. But Chaucer was sorry to see winter go. Chaucer headed back to his family's cave. When he got there, his parents seemed to be just waking up. Wait till you hear about winter, said Chaucer. There's so much to do in the winter. Really, asked his mother. Who would have guessed, his father added. Chaucer wanted to tell them all about the snow, the ice, the sledding down the hills. He really did. But the rest of his story was going to have to wait. Poor Chaucer was so tired after his long winter of playing with his friends that he fell asleep. All right. Now we have... A project mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is a pair of mittens that are hooked together and your mom and dad or grandma can come to our library and pick up all of the pieces to make a pair of mittens. We will be gluing on some cotton and gluing on some beautiful pieces to go on the colorful mittens. You might get a pair of yellow ones or green ones and um, you will enjoy making these different mittens. So come on into the library, call um, first, and we will come out and call us at 323-0630. And we will bring you some projects out to your car for you and your brothers, your sisters. All right. And we have one more song. Mm -hmm. 
This is kind of a silly song. It's all about when it's cold outside and we have some pictures to show you as we sing. When it's cold outside and you want to play, what can you do for fun every day? Let's make a rhyme, my teacher would say. Did you ever see a snowflake pushing a rake on a cold winter's day? When it's cold outside and you want to play, what can you do? For fun that day, let's make a rhyme, my teacher would say. Have you ever seen a bear combing his hair on a cold winter's day? When it's cold outside and you want to play, what can you do for fun that day? Let's make a rhyme, my teacher would say. Have you ever seen a bunny eating some honey on a cold winter's day? When it's cold outside and you want to play, what can you do for a fun that day? My teacher would say, let's make a rhyme. Did you ever see a bee? on some winter's skis on a cold winter's day. When it's cold outside and you want to play, what can you do for a fun that day? Let's make a rhyme, my teacher would say. Have you ever seen a bed turn into a sled on a cold winter's day? Good job. That was a silly song. Mm -hmm. All right. We are excited that you are here today. We will be back next Thursday at 1030 also. And we will do another winter song and winter story at that time. So let's um, wind down with our goodbye song. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends the more we get together the happier we'll be we'll see you next week bye 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 bye